In the Hardware Configuration Editor, click the Online button. Looking at the online view shows a graphical representation of the hardware system and where faults are located. This is a great place to begin hardware troubleshooting. The red triangle on the CPU means that a diagnostic interrupt has occurred. You can also see that each of the signal modules have a slash mark through them, meaning that they are not communicating with the CPU. While online, double-click on the CPU to open the Module Information Tool. Click on the Diagnostic Buffer tab. The first message says that a stop has occurred because of an I.O. access error. FC-105 was attempting to access I.O. Internal error means the code initiated the access. Click Message 2 for more information. In the details of the event, the message says there was an I.O. access error when reading. An attempt to read the P or peripheral area word access with address 306. Also, the organization block OB122 was called for and was not found. This resulted in a CPU stop. A look in the help file tells you that OB122 is called when a module cannot be read from or written to. Message 5 says there was a parameter assignment error. Click on Message 5. This message says there's a parameter assignment error with Slot 7. Slot 7 in this rack is an analog module. The reason for the failure is not yet clear. Let's check on Message 6, which is also a parameter assignment error. This message says there's a problem with the input address 304. Message 7 also says there's a parameter assignment error. Let's click on this message. There's a problem with output address 12. Let's move the module information window to the right so we can see the addresses of the modules. Address 304 and 306 are from the analog input module in slot 7. Output address 12 is from the digital input, digital output module in slot 6. We still cannot determine what has happened. Let's look down the message list for more messages. Click on message 8, also a parameter assignment error. Message 8 says the input address 12 could not be read. This address also belongs to slot 6, the digital in, digital output module. Select message 9. Message 9 says the output address 4 could not be read. This address belongs to slot 5, the digital output module. Let's click the down arrow box in the events window again. Select message 10. It's still not clear at this point what is happening. Click the down arrow in the events window again and let's see if there are any more messages. That's the end of the diagnostic messages. We had a message saying slots 7, 6, and 5 could not be read. This agrees graphically with what we see in the Hardware Configuration Editor, but we still don't know why. Now we're going to have to do a physical check of the modules in the rack. We'll close the diagnostic buffer and go look at the physical rack to see if we can determine what's happened. A look at the physical rack showed that there was no power on the first digital input module in slot 4. It turns out the module had failed due to high heat and vibration. As a result, the modules downstream could not communicate to the CPU. When they could not be read during the image updates and code access, messages were output to the diagnostic buffer. The digital input module has been replaced. To update the Hardware Configuration Online View, select the View menu.
choose update, or you could press the F5 key. This was a difficult fault to troubleshoot. Sometimes the diagnostic buffer will tell you exactly what's wrong and is easy to troubleshoot. But sometimes it's more challenging and will have to be paired with visual inspection of the hardware system to find the actual fault. In this case, we received messages that slots 5, 6, and 7 could not be read from or written to, but had to go look at the rack to see that it was actually slot 4 that was causing the problem. It was a hint, though. Since all the modules had slashes through them, and there was a message from slots 5, 6, and 7, that's an indication that slot 4 might be the problem. This concludes the video on troubleshooting a module failure.